Life as a techie. As you see, this is where I, I typically work at. I work right in this area right here. This camera right here, the A7 III, I love it. I want it from your average consumer back in 2019. Judd, shout out to him running that giveaway, and that's how I got that, and that opened up the door to the A6100 because I realized I had a thing for videography and photography, which led me to buying not one, not two, not three, where is it at? I have four lenses. I need to find my nifty 50. I do have a nifty 50. I don't know where it's at. I have a nifty 50 though. So that led to buying, I have a total of five lenses because the A61 actually came with a pancake lens known as a 60 to 50. You end up running into a lot of things you start liking. Accessories, Pataka's tablet stand, shout out to that. Cases galore, Samsung, shout out to Samsung. Shout out to Taurus. You just start running into enjoying a bunch of tech and you start getting into microphones for audio. The Rode Mic Pro right here. I'm currently recording with the new uh, mic, uh, Rode Video Mic Me C on the Galaxy S24 Plus. You run into ND filters and make sure you get good video when you're outside with a lot of light and you gotta balance that out. You start running into buying a bunch of batteries for your cameras, you start realizing that it can be hard to be a techie, especially in 2024, when, make sure everything is still straight, when tech starts getting real expensive. These bad boys here, AirPods Pro, you have to start being careful and try to align with the right things to buy and try to focus on certain tech because you can just start collecting things like crazy whether or not you even use them on a regular basis. My favorite place to be is on YouTube. On the TV, the big screener. Shout out to Think Media, undisputed what's left of it. <laughs> oh man. You gotta think about time the time it takes to appreciate and enjoy your technology. Case in point again, that beautiful PS5. That beautiful PS5. And yes, I have the PlayStation camera. And the reason why I have that is because I was really going hard doing streaming back in 2020 through 2022, playing Marvel's Avengers and that game failed. And therefore I don't really use the camera as much, but at least that was the cheapest of the investment when it came to video gaming and of course i got a beautiful reddish controller right there now you see we have a nice clean living room I keep my tablet cases over there. Again, life has a techie. You start trying different things out, running internet through your <laughs> phone service provider. I got a broke Samsung charging stand that doesn't charge fast, uh, uh, doesn't even wirelessly charge anymore. But I use it as a, just a typical phone stand, tablet stand, plenty of out, outlets just in case. My Logitech MX Master 3 mouse that I use to edit on my beautiful iPad Pro here that I will I'll be editing this video up shortly. So you got that and again my other tablet case that I use when I don't have it in this right here. You see how easy it is to start collecting tech. It's not necessarily a bad thing. You just have to find ways to keep it as balanced as possible and focus on the thing you actually like the most. And when you can, then you try to experiment with other
pieces of technology. Now, one of the things I am noticing about this Galaxy S24 Plus is that it does not handle lighting. Like weird, I mean, I understand the lighting in this apartment is a little weird, so forgive the off colors from time to time because I have light shining from my window in front of us. This light right there, that's trying to bring in some natural light. So, and I have this kind of tuned to 5,000, my white balance is like 5,000 K right now, Kelvin. My advice to all you guys out there, when it comes to tech, when it comes to technology in particular, try your best to stay as balanced as possible when collecting tech, because it's very easy to fall for buying everything when some things you just probably simply don't need or you can just do without and so far for me i haven't quite found that yet because i have always found a use case for most of my stuff because at the end of the day for me i kind of look at some of this as investments so and a lot of those investments is into the youtube channel or trying to produce good content for you guys so that's what ends up taking place for me when it comes to being a techie and that includes having smart lighting that you can control with your phone which we have one in the living room and one in that lamp and over there in the corner right there that's what i got to say for this video try your best to be balanced try your best to not get overwhelmed and make sure you keep time in mind when it comes to will i actually have time to use certain pieces of technology which may even include having a nice size tv this is the living room so most people will have something like that right so let me know <clears throat> are you guys techies or are you guys just in the specific pieces of technology in general i really like to know you guys start down in the comment section below but i'll catch you on the next one the S24 Plus, and I'm a little underwhelmed with the footage. So if you guys notice similar, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, that's why I think the next video, I'm gonna be using this iPhone 15 Pro to see if that makes things a little bit easier. Otherwise, I'm definitely switching back to the A6100 for majority of these vlogs.